Think about the food and agriculture sector. It's the largest industry in the world. Over a trillion dollars of food is produced every year. Every region has different challenges, but there's some commonalities that we see across the world with this. Efficient use of water still is a really important part of getting the growing of crops right. Too much water is actually a bad thing. If you can measure the soil and soil moisture, can you make better decisions around irrigation management? The answer to that, not surprisingly, is yes. Feeding the world is no small task. And over the next few decades, farmers are really gonna have their work cut out for them. Crop yields are expected to drop significantly, especially across the United States. There are startups like CropX that are promising sensors and satellites that'll save time and money and water. But the real question is, how much? And will the farming industry, which has been notoriously stubborn, be willing to try something new? To see CropX in action, we visited a farm in North Bend, Nebraska, to see what a farmer adopting the technology might be in for. CropX is a platform that combines software, hardware, and a whole range of analytics. This is everything from tracking crops remotely from space, providing unique sensors that go underground and above the crop canopy to make a complete picture for farmers and also for the food processing companies that uh, work with farmers in their supply chains. It began with a focus on improving water irrigation management. You know, there's thousands of sensors all over the world delivering irrigation recommendations. So here with me today, I'm holding the CropX soil moisture sensor. It is a three sensor moisture probe collecting soil moisture, temperature, and EC data at three specific depths beneath the soil profile that tells us as farmers when to irrigate and when not to irrigate, but will also tell us how much to irrigate for each specific field. It's an important one to get right. There's a lot of savings in terms of doing it well, both for the environment and costs. But irrigation is only one of the things they do. The EC measurements translate into nitrogen readings, which can tell us how much nitrogen leaching there is occurring through the soil profile. This helps us become more efficient with our nitrogen applications so that we're applying our fertilizer needs when the crop is utilizing it the most. We are now on millions of acres of land across the world. When you multiply out the effect that we have, the numbers are almost mind-blowing. We're able to, for example, save more water than is consumed by all the households in a city of a million people. CropX's Chief Sustainability Officer Bridget Hawkins says that sustainability isn't just some box to check for good PR. It's essential to the strength of any business, and not for nothing, it saves money in the long run. You know, as a business, fundamentally, you need to be profitable because you don't stay in business if you're not. However, part of what makes you profitable is having customers that value what you do and having investors that are prepared to back your vision and your pathway. And more and more, those quality customers and investors are looking for businesses that value sustainability and act on it. We've shown in multiple trials that by using CropX's irrigation management, you can save 20 to 30% of the water compared to what was used before. We were easily able to see two to three irrigation application savings per year, which here in Nebraska, that translates to an average of around $1,200 per application, plus see an increase on yield productivity of around 10 to 15%. Precise insights like these might become more crucial with an unpredictable future. Companies like CropX and its competitors, including Agrobol, Cultiva, and Prospera, hope to make that future a little less jarring for farmers and, of course, help them reap profits along with their crops. 
if the trends that we see continue, you know, weather patterns are fundamentally changing. We will see much hotter and drier conditions. We will see, you know, massive weather events that cause flooding. Those might be the extremes, but as you come away from the extremes, it still means a lot more variability and volatility. We want to be able to scale in a way that more and more users can access the value of CropEx. And the quickest way to do that is to have a product that can easily scale itself. It's got to be simple, easy to install, easy to use, easy to connect up. It needs to work anywhere in the world. We also have what we call the CropEx telemetry device or gateway that is integrated with a suite of several different types of sensors. And within just a couple of minutes, we can be up and running and having rain being recorded at our specific field location. And yet CropEx is still working in an age-old industry that's known for not changing much over the last 10,000 years or so. Investors have an expectation of a return and the challenge for ag tech is it's slow. The adoption rate is slow, you're working with a seasonal market and so having investors who understand that is very important. And farmers and growers, if it's expensive, very difficult to use, breaks and no one's there to fix it, that's not particularly appealing. And so for CropEx, we want to break that paradigm. We need to address those things front on.